Hello fellow YouTubers, and welcome back to Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. On the last episode, we continued our way through, I guess the entrance of the Star Shrine? Because we weren't technically in it yet. We still technically aren't in it yet. We had to deal with this weird star gate who wouldn't let Luigi pass on because he had doubts about him. So we had to find the mysterious Aurora block then and have Luigi hit it. And then the, the Stargate, after we found the Aurora block, started picking on Luigi. But eventually we were able to get past it. Luigi hit the Aurora block and crushed him because it turned huge. And now we are in the second entrance of... Second entrance area of the Star Shrine. We're still not there yet. We're almost there. We just need to find the actual entrance, which, according to what we can see on the top map, uh, there doesn't seem to be a, <laughs> an entrance. So we're going to be trying to find out exactly what we need to do. And we got some enemies. No, 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 no. Now, yes. Let's go. <laughs> Wonderful acts are so pathetic. Uh, piranha plants, on the other hand, at least give me a lot of experience. Mario levels up to level 26. 5, 4, 2, 3. Wow, those are some big jumps for Mario. And let's see. Let's give him some... Either stash or defense. One of those two. Which one gives us more? Defense would give us some pretty good stuff. Four. All right, that's not too bad. Yay, Luigi also levels up. Five, three, three, two. Luigi is starting to fall behind on speed and pow. So if we can give him, like, a good boost on either of them, they'd be grateful. Oh, hold on. Yes. All right, I need to get that four. Ha ha ha! Yes! I mean, he's nowhere... He's still not close to Mario yet. Mario's, like, a good... Almost 10 ahead of him. But that really helped. So if you notice... Well, let's first walk into this pipe and see what we can find. Oh, God, it's a Skello Key. What's a Skello Key doing here? Weird, random Skello Key? Ooh, what is it doing down there? Oh, I like how the inside of that pipe looks. It's so pretty. So if you notice, we got a block right here. And a, a, apparently two... Dragon Balls right here? So let's hit this giant... Let's hit this block right here. And it turns out that these Dragon Balls are actually... <laughs> are actually emitters of light. We have a red beam that's going that way. And we have a purple beam going down. You notice they're both pointing at another platform. And also the lights don't exactly go all the way to the end. So let's take this path up here. We're going to go in a clockwise formation. Each of these areas have one of these blocks. But if I hit this one... It overrides the the red and purple one over there, and instead it emits a light green and light blue light. So let's head back over here. And let's restart this one. I said restart it, not toss the babies. Because I want to actually connect one of the lights with another one of the lights. Which means we have to go to the other side over here. Ah, let's fight this one with Flack very quickly. That was very easy. Alright, let's see what the baby... Maybe there's going to be another random skeleton key in one of these pipes. Yes, there is! But the babies have like a 4,000 experience gap in between them. Although, I really do hope that they really start to converge right now. I'm battling a lot of enemies with just the babies. I'm not sure whether or not they converge more. And by converge more, I mean... Eventually, the babies and the adults will once again level up at the same time. It's only happened once in the past 30 episodes. Let's see. There is no block here. But there seems to be... One of these blocks here. Alright, this block actually reappears, so... Let's toss the babies up here and see what's inside this cave. And inside this cave, we have a bunch of different blocks right here. If we hit this block, it'll turn red. If we hit it again, it'll still turn red, but if we hit it with Luigi, or baby Luigi, it'll turn green. So what we need to do for those ones is... Let's hit this block once again. Let's 
get that pattern down right there. So that one, that one, that one, that one. I lost. <laughs> All right, that's exactly what I thought. This one and this one are all red. All, all the rest are green. Remember this? Remember this problem in Woohoo University and Superstar Saga? And now they all formed up to appear as one of those star blocks. And now we have the now we have the ability to actually connect a light. So let's see what happens if we do this. Now the red light is permanently connected. So even though we've uh, this block is now able to be hit again, and we could probably just go straight up here and hit another block, we've now successfully connected that. So. We need to connect the uh, other, I guess, five lines. Let's get that started and see what happens after we connect all five of them. I like this area. This area is very cool. It's very simple, too. It doesn't take too long to figure out what you need to do. Unless you're stupid, Let's go. like I was. I mean, 14-year-old me. <laughs> stupid, stupid 14-year-old me. All right, let's see what ha- uh, Let's get rid of this Piranha Planet first. Let's go. <laughs> Luigi almost died. Good thing we were able to give him some health back, but let's see. Oh, let's connect the light blues. All right, that only leaves us with one more room to explore, but this should be very easy to connect the remaining lights. We've now explored every single room minus one. And there doesn't seem to be any enemies in this room. Instead, we have just a, a Shine Sprite block and another cave for the babies to go through. Oh boy, it's one of these again. <laughs> Remember the last time I tried to do one of these? Oh, we got diagonals this time. Oh, that's actually something I can continuously hit. I know there's a jump right here. Am I going the right way? Maybe? I'm getting some blocks. <laughs> That's at least a good thing. Yeah, you'd be so you'd be so lost if you tried to do this off of memory. All the jumps that you'd have to jump over. I'm currently lost right now. Did I make it? I did! Huh! Oh, apparently hitting the star block there doesn't cause it to work, but hitting the star block where it currently is will cause it to work. I don't want to hit it right now. We've now explored every single room, so this should take no time at all. Oh, I'm getting stuck. I'm getting stuck on nothing. Once I hit this block, though, the purple should be done, and the bottom right and this block should now no longer need to be in existence. Yep, that's exactly what I thought. Let's quickly head to the top. Because this one only needs one left, and then we'll head over to the bottom left. So that we can, oh, connect this one with that one. And then we can quickly hit it again to get the last one. So there's red, purple, blue, green. What other color has there been? Is there, uh, there's a yellow, isn't there? I think there was, because we hit that one on the, on the right already. Yep, that was a yellow. Oh, now that's the last one we need to do, too. I wonder how powerful these beams of light are, and what's causing them to be different colors. You know, we're, we're starting to get very close to the end of the game. I mean, if you think about it, this is episode 43. Superstar Saga only lasted 43 episodes. And there, we've actually revealed the place where we need to go. Like I said, Superstar Saga only lasted 43 episodes, so technically, this would be the last episode if this was Superstar Saga, or if we were going on pace. But there have been a lot of episodes in Partners in Time that was just very short because of pacing issues. But now we have a pathway right here that'll take us to the middle area, the middle inexistent area that shows all of the different colors and where they shine and why this becomes a solid platform, I don't know. 
I think we only have like two weeks left in this game. Oh, here we go. We are now finally in the Star Shrine. And you look at it, it looks like it's a big maze. But our main goal is, as you see, there's a, t there's a time hole in the top right. If we follow all the rooms, there's really only one, two, three, four, five, six rooms. And the rest are all hallways. So, on the next... Uh, hold on, let's save it. <laughs> we forgot to save it. Can I reach level 27 in these six rooms? Possibly. So, on the next episode of Mario and Luigi Partners in Time, we're going to be... Now that we're finally in the Star Shrine, we're going to try and get to that time hall, because I assume that the Cobalt Star Shard is going to be on the way. Seeing as though there's a save block literally in the middle of the screen, and that leads to the room that's on the, on the top left, I'm going to assume we're going to get it in the top left. So, until next time, hopefully you enjoy.